So you're in the middle of nowhere and there's a great restaurant about 10 minutes away and you want to go eat. Well, guess what? You're going to have to starve if you work for... Howdy ho, seat covers. Glad you could join us. I'm talking today on That's Trucking News about freedom. A simple thing that we on the road kind of depend on. Now, if you're a company driver, that comes at a little bit of a cost. Because in order to get that freedom, you need to be able to use a feature on your hours of service called personal conveyance. Whether it's for things like running errands, maybe going down the road to a restaurant, whatever the case may be, when you can't use it, it makes things very dangerous. Being able to use it allows you to take care of things that you're unable to do while you're actually transporting that load from A to B. Now there are those in the industry that would have the use of personal conveyance either limited or eliminated altogether. But the reality is restricting or eliminating personal conveyance of any kind for any driver, whether you're a company paid driver or whether you're an owner operator, is counterproductive and in some cases, very dangerous. Because in this video, I wanna discuss that very thing. There's a company I used to work for that has now completely eliminated the use of personal conveyance. There's a lot of waves being made and a lot of potential changes coming down the pike as a result. So let's get into this. But long ago, I worked for a company and recently ran into some drivers talking about the old days. Literally ran into them in Rafe, Virginia. I discovered not much has changed over the years. The two fellows I ran into are known by all as Speedy and Kevin. So Speedy, Kevin, if you guys are watching this video, Godspeed, safe travels to you, my friends. I had a great time talking with you, and I wish you both a lot of success and happiness in your future career. During my brief employment with Warner Enterprises, I never encountered any problems with the use of personal conveyance. It was pretty widely known you could use it, but at the time I worked there, it was kind of something new. So a lot of guidance was really not forthcoming until about the time I began my exit from the company. But in all the time I used it, I never had any problems, which basically goes to show you that when it's used responsibly, it can actually turn out to be a very valuable tool. Recently, however, things have changed. My conversation with Speedy and Kevin did not talk about this, nor did they reveal to me that this was happening. A few days after that, I learned from another source that Warner had hit on a policy change effective the first of the year. The use of personal conveyance has been eliminated from the entire fleet at Warner Enterprises. So now, you're in the middle of Nowhere USA and there's a great restaurant about 10 minutes away that you wanna to get to. And where you happen to be at, there's nothing to eat. You have to now starve because somebody in the company abused the system. Way to go, Derek, way to go. I see a huge pile of workforce reduction heading in your future. One commenter wrote, Warner Driver here. Yes, the information is true. We got company-wide messages informing us of this change. We are really upset. Many drivers continue to point out to trip plan better, but those of us who do our job honestly and are following the rules are getting hit hard. So according to those working at Warner, yes, they've eliminated personal conveyance. The reason for the change is due to a recent audit. So here's my question. Why is it that a recent audit did not reveal who and how these abuses were occurring from and provide a more direct way of dealing with said problems? No, instead what they do is they eliminate it com uh, company-wide and punish everybody. It's kind of like noticing, hey, 
you've got a CB radio, and the use of said CB radio is causing tickets. So instead of telling everybody to get rid of the CB radios, they pass a policy to eliminate the use of cell phones. Same logic, same stupidity. I have to wonder if Derek Leathers has actually thoroughly thought this policy change through. I mean, think about it for just a second. Without the use of personal conveyance as an option available to you, truckers are gonna feel now a lot more pressure to run errands and do personal stuff while on the clock, while still being as productive and start arbitrarily becoming more dangerous with the decisions they make and the actions they take. As long as I've known people at Warner and as long as I've been associated with anybody working for Warner, they've always been about safety first. And like many others, we applaud those efforts. Warner has long led the industry in safety standards. But realizing a policy change like this will probably start other problems. In other words, if you're not allowed to use personal conveyance, you may find your drivers parking in more unsafe or unauthorized predicaments and you may see them coming up with more safety violations or maybe more accidents because they can't use personal conveyance to complete the tasks at hand. Let me know in the comments below if you agree with me but many feel, myself included, that a different approach to this recent audit would have been well served before doing this. Would it not have been a better idea to consider training? At one time, when I worked for Warner, you had to take regular, quote, e-courses to improve training on a regular basis to continue driving for the company. Why not use these e-courses as a means in which to integrate training on the proper use of personal conveyance instead of the choice they made? Another idea, strictly for those that abuse the system, is implement a system for tracking and monitoring for those that are documented as having abused the use of personal conveyance. Individually, for each driver that violates the policy or incorrectly uses it, limit their use, require training, and monitor their progress. And lastly, provide some sort of support mechanism for your drivers that enables them to be able to handle personal business and get the job done. That would be a smart tactic to take instead of the current policy they've passed, which was effective the first of the year. Honestly, guys, many of you know if you've been in trucking any length of time, what the likely outcome of such a sweeping change will have. Many times in the industry, when you have a large corporation with as much influence as Warner has, make a decision and take actions the way they have. Usually this decision fans out and affects the rest of the industry. I, for one, see no need to give the FMCSA, DOT, or any government agency any ammunition they can use to eliminate a very essential tool given us by law. We have now the ability to use personal conveyance within strict guidelines which are clearly spelled out by the Department of Transportation and given us by the FMCSA. You, by decree, Warner Enterprises, have now given every government agency all the fuel they need to industry-wide eliminate the use of personal conveyance, thereby affecting me. I don't consider that fair and Furthermore, I view it as dangerous. 
I encourage everyone at Warner, whether you're a driver, an employee, or one of those brain hats up at the CEO's office, to talk some sense into Derek Leather's head and make some changes. We work for a living. Some of us work for you, mister. We are what keep your profitability up, your wheels turning, and the country moving. If you expect us to do the same job we currently do with less resources, you're kidding yourself. Make no change, and I'm sure you will find an impending work shortage coming up. But if you think this through, you can both positively affect the industry and keep an intact workforce. I hope Warner decides to make the right choice. If you like news videos like this, please hit the like button. Please do on this case because I want Derek Leathers to see this video and I want every Warner driver out there to know we at That's Trucking News have your back. Do the right thing. Become a subscriber and look for more videos just like this. And while you're on the road, whether it's on the clock or personally driving, please be safe and remember, that's trucking.